Okay, hello YouTube. It is time for us to talk about our item. Admonishing instruction. He's the uh, beefy librarian, right? Now, hold up. Let me find something real quick. Oh, there it is. Yes, here it is. So, uh, as we know, uh, Al Haitham is the um, the muscle boy <laughs> because uh, for some reason, um, as you can see, Al Haitham has a more well-built uh, body structure than Ito. I don't know if they're ever gonna go back and change Ito's character model, but uh, right now he has noodle arms compared to Al Haitham. No wonder why Al Haitham has such a uh, big fan base, you know? Like even in the live stream itself, they kind of put this picture. It's like, bro, they know what the f*** they're doing. <laughs> they're targeting a part of their player base, and they're like, yeah, we're getting these guys. For next patch, we're only going to get our item story quest, right? But we're not getting a, an Archon quest. But without further ado, let, let's go look at our item skill set. <laughs> okay, that laugh is... <laughs> that is a very robotic laugh. During combat, our item is focused on efficiency. Chiseled light mirror. Okay, let me read this for chat. Wait, hold up. I have a better idea. I will move over here and block Al Haitham muscle so you guys can focus on the text, right? Because I know Genshin Impact players don't read anyways, and he's distracting you guys even more. When he uses his E, normal charge and plunge attack is converted to dendro damage. When he hits enemy, he generates mirror. When he uses his ult, it consumes the mirror and then generate more mirrors. Like, look at all the mirrors, right? The mirrors will all wait. The mirrors will also engage in coordinated combat when it hits an enemy. So this is like Layla. Like it it's it stacks up over time and then it fires to enemies, right? The star his dendros thing stacks up over time, then it fires to enemy. So like right right here, he's teleporting similar to Kaching's E, where you just kind of like that. And then when he plunge attack, a bunch of m mirrors fall down. And then when he attacks a couple of times, a bunch of more mirrors fall down. I think the only requirement is he has to be on field for it. But he's going to be a really fast dendro applicator, hopefully. His ult is like Kaching or Mirror Maiden, depending on how you look at it. He summons a bunch of mirror, and then, you know, light refracts and hit the enemy multiple times within the mirror, you know? The duration seems a lot longer than Kaching ult, because like Kaching ult definitely does not last this long. Yeah, those three shards are the mirrors, right? And at, at three mirrors, it flies and attack enemies. So the more mirrors you have, the longer your elemental burst is, right? So my thoughts about Al Haitham is that he's an on-field Dendro character. So Aggravate is the reaction we're looking for. Aggravate is the reaction that makes Electro damage and Dendro damage more potent, right? It does like bonus damage if you use Electro and Dendro together, right? So he wants to be an on-field, an on-field Dendro character, yeah? For Aggravate team, I think it's still like Dendro and then Dendro and then fast Electro, right? So you can proc it over and over and over again, right? Which is why Keking is there, yeah? But I think with the addition of uh, Al Haitham, it's gonna be an on-field fast Dendro Reactor, right? Because he's gonna normal attack a lot, his mirror is gonna proc over and over and over again. Doesn't that just make Fischl broken again? So what, what other Electro do you run? You just run Raiden or something? I mean, you probably still run Fischl because she applies Electro fast. Maybe you can't make use of her passive too much. But like seeing how fast um, Al Haitham attacks and hopefully, this is my guess, right? Usually if it's different ability, it has different ICD. ICD basically meaning internal cooldown, which is a cooldown in between how often you can proc elemental reaction. Different characters, different abilities have uh, different ICD, so different cooldown, right? It's there so that you can't just spam reaction 24-7 and do infinite damage. It was like a bug at the start of uh, whenever Dendro was released. And then for some reason, Barbara E can trigger infinite amount of Dendro reaction. And she started lagging the game because so much numbers show up on the screen. And they have to bug fix her, right? So yeah, 
um, a lot of things happen in the past, and that's why Mihoyo puts up a cooldown in between when you can proc elemental reaction. So Alhaitam attacks very fast on the field, and he applies a lot of dendro because seeing how Genshin has worked in the past, different parts of your ability have different cooldowns to proc reaction. So your normal attack was gonna be different, and I'm assuming the mirrors that attacks with you is gonna have a different reaction cooldown as well, so he can kind of spam reaction. And I think the most common thing is normal attack and charge attack also has a different cooldown that's why Hu Tao can proc elemental reaction so well because you know every time you charge attack there's another reaction I'm assuming uh something our item combo would be like normal two time to a charge attack like every other sword user so you can maximize the amount of reaction you can do with electro and dendro well with other characters right I'm just other elements as well right usually for sword character you normal twice into a charge attack yeah and now with our item mirror as well, I'm assuming they have a different reaction cooldown as well. So they can trigger even more dendro electro reaction. That's what I'm thinking. What would be a standard our item comp? And don't say our item electro Bennett Kazuha because for f**k's sake. Like we run Bennett Kazuha everywhere already, okay? Yeah, so double dendro and double electro, right? So I think, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, it's probably going to be like Beidou Fischl. Plus a Dendro character, and Yao Yao is also a Dendro healer, right? Maybe you can run Yao Yao in there, but we'll talk about Yao Yao in a bit. That's what I'm thinking about Al Haitam, right? Or you run like, maybe like Al Haitam, Kuki Fisho, plus like a Nahida, or like a Dendro Traveler. I think that works. A Nilo team. Probably, yeah. Nilo just wants a fast Dendro reactor, right? Like, you just need a lot of Dendro plants on the field. Al Haitam, Yelan, Kuki, Nahida. Yeah, that definitely works. Yeah, that is true. That definitely works. Because Kuki is a slow electro reactor. The other three person on that team, Al Haitam, Yelan, and Nahida, they're fast reactor. Which I mean, Kuki already guarantees that she will proc Hyper Bloom regardless, right? Because she's the only electro, right? And she's really consistent as well. For the longest time, a Nemo character has been regarded as the most important element in the game. But I think nowadays, I'm shifting more towards Hydro and Dendro more. I feel like Hydro and Dendro have more teams you can play on. Hold up, let me uh, let me showcase um, Kuki. So it's like, um, generally, um, Kuki does a shitload of damage. If you have C2 Nahida, it makes your reaction able to crit. And my Kuki can do up to like 90,000 damage every Hyper Plume if it crits. And like 55,000 damage on a non-crit, right? So Kuki does a shitload of damage. Stop moaning! And the good thing about uh, Elemental Mastery Kuki is you don't really have to invest into her talents. Her artifact is literally just... Uh, EM HP, EM HP, EM HP, EM HP. This is even like really bad, right? And EM HP, right? You don't even need ER on her. Uh, for weapon, there's like a three star free weapon you can use on her as well, which is like the um the dark sword. I do agree that the key plays a really important role, but even without the key, you do enough damage. For the team that we were talking about, if you want to run like Al Haitam, Kuki for healing. A hydro character like Sing Cho. I don't know. Either one more Dendro or one more Electro character. I think that works. Because Al Haitam is going to apply a lot of Dendro on his own. Because right now, if you see the team that I'm running. The team I was running was Kuki, Nahida, Kokomi, and Kali. Right? None of them really have like really strong on-field damage. And Al Haitam is going to fill that place. Right? He's going to be the fast Dendro reactor on-field DPS. Which adds a bit more damage on the on-field damage of the team. Because generally right now... Hyperbloom team are kind of like close to AFK team where you just tank it up and let your Hyperbloom do the damage. Maybe our Hytham plus Electro is going to be really strong. Maybe it's not, but I feel like Hyperbloom is such a cool reaction to play because it's a lot of free damage even with low investment. I think it's going to be better. His best Electro support might be Beidou. Okay, so Beidou ult gives you damage reduction and it also chains lightning to nearby enemy, right? At higher talent level, Beidou ult goes to the point where it gives the team like 37% damage reduction. 
<laughs> and 37% damage reduction is equal to like 2,500 defense or some shit, right? Like, it's insane. Like, you probably need like very minimal healing if you run Beidou, yeah, at higher talent level. But I don't think you can run Beidou as a solo Electro. You can, you have to run like Al Haitam plus a Dendro plus Fischl Beidou. I think that's the only way. But that is that, right? Now, let us go for the other new character of the patch. We have um, Year of the Bunny. Yeah, yeah. She throws on a rabbit, up and upon exploding or landing, the radish will heal character within a certain AOE base on the elemental skill value. And when Yao Yao is in Adepto Legacy state, I think that's her elemental burst state, the Jade will heal character based on elemental burst numbers. I'm assuming you level both your E and your Q because your E without your Q probably heals less, and you need like to level both. Does it attack enemy? It does attack enemy, but the text here doesn't say it attacks enemy. You can clearly see that the thing hits the Hillichols there. Now, the damage of the bunnies probably don't matter because she's a healer, right? I think the important thing is uh, how fast is the dendro reaction. I don't know if they're gonna like gut her and make her dendro application have a long ass cooldown, such as some other characters we've seen in the past. Yao Yao E is like Sayu's elemental burst, right? It does damage and it heals. Or it's like Dory's burst, which also does damage and heals. Those summon ability usually have really long cooldown on how fast they can apply the element on an enemy, even though they attack fast. The internal cooldown is too long. And her ult is, um... Her ult is just, she shits out the rabbits and the random dendro attack, like, very fast. Yeah, it also auto-targets enemy, so it's kind of like Yelan ult, right? Like, because Yelan ult kind of summons the dice and it tar auto-targets an enemy, kinda, if you attack. So I think this is kind of like the same thing. In my opinion, the gameplay of, you know, ulting and then running around sounds cool. It sounds really cool. Like, okay, so you guys might disagree with me on this, but I'm only harsh towards five-star characters because if you really think about it, five-star characters design are less interesting than four-star character design, right? Beidou has a counter-attack. Sara plants, like, bombs for attack buff. Same with Farazan now, right? We have Candace has counters now. Uh, Lisa is the only mage that charged up a big AoE and shit, right? Sayu has her rolling thing, and now Yao Yao has a different type of gameplay, right? Most five-star characters, you press E, you start doing elemental damage on your normal attack, and you press O for big damage or some shit, right? So... In my opinion, I think the 4-star character on Genshin is how they explore new gameplay features, whereas the 5-star character is they sell strong, consistent characters, right? So, yeah, Yao Yao is a different type of gameplay. It's gonna be some fun for some people, or maybe living the fantasy of just being a little midget running around, shitting rabbits and orbs everywhere. So that sounds kind of cool, right? For teams on Yao Yao, I, I, I really only think that Nilo team? Is there any other team Yao Yao can be ran on? And I don't know if you swap immediately after ulting, does your bunnies disappear? Oh, they disappear really fast though, actually. True, wait, they disappear really fast. It's probably like 3-4 seconds something. That's not that bad. Like if it's like 80 energy cost, then yeah, it's pretty bad. But if it's like 60-40 energy cost, yeah, it's pretty good, you know? Zhongling version team with Yao Yao. Isn't her title like... Burgeoning Grace. <laughs> Do they want us to play a Pyro Dendro team? Is that why? Maybe. I'm not sure. I feel like Yao Yao gameplay design is gonna be entirely based on cooldown of how fast she can proc reaction. Because summon based characters usually have really bad elemental reaction cooldown. But I think that's it. Wait a second. I just realized something. Here. Isn't Zhao always in a banner with those who are taller than him? <laughs> HDD. Oh no. <laughs> More gel <gel> slander. <laughs> That's enough for today's little um speculations about the new characters, yes? I hope you all have good luck on pulling their banner next patch. This is the best thing about patch 3.4, and the best line is your coming was foretold. Well then. Goodbye, chat.